Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another update for my project pan. This is my rolling project pan of 2023 and I'm structuring it very similar to how I did last year and I think even the year before where I focus on 10 products at any point in time which are uh, rolling so whenever I finish one up I roll in something new and my goal with this project is to finish everything. I don't have any usage goals, I don't have any hit pan goals. I want to finish every single product in here. So I'm gonna jump into the update, but before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So we're gonna start with the products that have been in the longest uh, and then move down the list. So the first product that I have to talk about is one that has been in since the start. And this is one that I estimated would be done uh, last update, so I did want to finish it up, and that is my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This one I had so little left last month, but it did last way longer than I expected. I was hoping, like, I, I thought that I would be able to finish this up in like, you know, 5-10 uses. But it took me 18 additional uses to finish this one up, but it is very much empty now. I tried squeezing as much as I can and there's nothing else coming out, so this one is completely empty. And it will be replaced at the end of the video, like I said. I really did like this one. I've been trying to look up this product just because um, I do count like my value of my empties this year. And it seems like this one isn't really sold in the UK anymore. I don't know what that's about, but I, I could only find it on Cold Beauty's website and out, like, on there it was out of stock, so... I don't know, who knows. I'm currently using the Pastel Roses eye uh, glitter glue and I like that one. It's very different. That's one I can, it's kind of like watery and it kind of has to let it dry a bit before it becomes tacky. It's a different experience, but I did really like this one and um, yeah, I'm happy that it's gone, but I'm still a bit sad because I did really end up liking this product. The next product that I have to talk about is this one right here. And that is my MAC eyeliner and Teddy. So, this one has been in for four months now. It has been in the start of the year. And I only have 17 uses on it in total. Granted that 14 out of those 17 uses was the first month. The remaining three was in the second month. And for the last two months, I have not reached for this at all. Because of that, I have actually decided to declutter this eyeliner. I mean, I could keep having it in here and, you know, reach for it every now and then but it would definitely be in until the end of the year and even so i don't know if i would be able to finish it because i just don't reach fire liners like this this one is also very 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 old so i feel like it's time to let it go um i always thought it would be nice to have a really deep eyeliner like this but again i just don't reach for it and because of that i am decluttering this one so it will be leaving my collection and i will also be replacing this at the end so for the next product we have to talk about, we have my blush that is in this project and that is my Dior Rosy Glow Blush. Um, I've had this in again since the start of the year. Uh, this looked like this at the last update. I had used it pan on it and I was very excited about that in the last update. I had continued using this one and I had reached for it 19 additional times in the past month and this is what it looks like now. So hopefully if I compare it maybe here, you can see how the pan looks. I definitely think the pan has expanded quite a bit. And honestly, the powder is quite thin all around the pan. It is still quite high, especially in this corner right here. But I can definitely tell that it's like getting lower. And even that side is definitely getting lower quite quickly. So I do think I should be able to finish this one up. I mean, it's still going to take quite a few more months, but it's definitely going to be done this year, which is really exciting. And I do really like it. I haven't really gotten tired of this blush. It doesn't really go with every single look that I want to do nowadays. It doesn't really go with, like, really warm-toned looks. So I might stop using it as much as I have been because, I mean, you can tell this month already. I used it 19 times, and this is the lowest I've reached for it in any month. The highest I've reached for it in one month was 42, which was the first month. Then I reached for it 22 times, then 29, and again this time was 19. So my usage is getting a little bit lower on it, but it's just because I'm switching it up with other things. But I still don't think I'm going to have any issues finishing this up for the end of the year. After my blush, we always speak about my highlighter, which is my Mary Luminizer. This one, me and this highlighter have been on a journey together. I have been panning this one since the beginning of last year, so since January 2022, I've been panning this highlighter. And this is what it looked like last month. Um, I keep using this one really regularly, um, and I have reached for 20 times this past month, and this is what it looks like today. 
So, hopefully it has expanded. I haven't looked at the side by side, but hopefully it has expanded a little bit. The main difference that I can tell is that it's getting very, very thin around the edges. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, but it's getting very thin. Uh, I can definitely see that this one is getting towards the end of its life. I think since it is very thin around the pan, the pan should expand quite decently by next update. And after that, I might even have to repress this powder, or this uh, highlighter rather, because you can definitely see that it is getting thinner, and I don't think it has many months left on, uh, in its life. So, yeah, that is where I am with my highlighter from the Balm, and I'm getting hopeful with this one. It's been in, like I said, for a long, long time, but I am getting there. So, moving on to a couple eyeshadows that I have in the project. The first one has been in since the start, and that is the Shadow Labyrinth from Colourpop. So, this is what it looked like at the last update. I don't think you're going to see much of a difference because I have only used this one four times, but this is what it looks like today. Um, yeah, I've just been a bit overwhelmed with all of the eyeshadows that I'm panning, so it's been a bit hard to include all of them. But I'm happy with four uses. It's the literally the lowest that I've had so far in the year. And I'm getting a bit hesitant if I were able to finish this one, but I do love this eyeshadow shade and I would reach for it more if I didn't have other things that I'm panning. So yeah, I'm just going to keep chucking along at it and see where I get up to. We are entering summer as well, so this kind of mauve tone is not really the thing that I think I will reach for the most in the upcoming months. But I think as soon as it cools down, it is another one that I'm going to reach for again. And I'm still going to try to get a couple of uses, if I can get like five uses per month. That would be amazing, but you know, of course, ideally more, but I think that's what I'm going to set my goal for that one. Then the second eyeshadow that I have to talk about is actually one that hasn't been in since the start of the year. This one has only been in for three months now, and that is the green eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Quad, which looked like this at the last update. I honestly don't think you're going to see much of a difference because I have only used this one twice. Um, there is a very specific reason why I haven't reached for this one more though, and that is because I'm panning my uh, The Child palette from... Colourpop and Mandalorian as my product level up. And there is a shade in there that is basically identical to this eyeshadow, which I'm trying to pan on. So obviously when I reach for that one, I can't really reach for this one because they are exactly the same. The two times I have reached for this one though, I actually have reached for this one on my lower lash line. So I used the other one on my lid because it is my main priority to pan on that one first. And then just to get a use of this one, I have used this on my lower lash line. So get time to look together. But again, they are basically identical, so I don't know how many uses I'm going to get on this in the next month. But I think I will be able to finish up really quickly once I start using it, because it's a very thin pan, and I already have quite a decent pan in it. So we have one more I should have to talk about later on, but I have a few products in between that I'm going to talk about first. The first one is the foundation that I'm panning, which is this one here. This one is the bane of my existence. I... I'm so tired of panning this one because it's such a thick foundation that you, you need like the tiniest tiniest bit of it I have reached for this one 16 times in the past month and it's not that high But the reason why I haven't reached for this one more is because this one has Probably the la worst lasting power of any foundation that I've tried It breaks apart very quickly. I mean you can see already like I've been filming I've maybe done my makeup like an hour ago Maybe actually a bit more than that two hours ago, maybe but it's already, I'm, I'm getting very oily and I can tell like my finish is breaking apart already. I only really use this one now if I'm working from home but I don't really care if my makeup looks rubbish at lunchtime, you know, after half a work day or half a day, you know, that's fine. Or if I'm just going out for quick dinner, I do reach for this one but it's just not my favourite foundation. And I don't mind panning it but the problem, the second problem with this is like again, it's very thick so... I don't even need a full pump. I think I need about half a pump of this to cover my whole face because it is so thick and very pigmented. And I feel like with the lasting power, for it to even last a decent amount of time, I just need to make sure that I don't overuse this foundation. So it's moving very slow, but I'm starting to see some windering. It's so thick that you can't, it, it's not settling. It's been standing up this whole time, but it's not settling. And I have looked into it when I take out the pump, um, because you can unscrew the pump. So when I look into it there, I can see a lot of like windowing, but there is still a lot of product left. So this one might stay in for quite a while. Again, it's not my favorite foundation, but I will still, I'm determined to finish it. So I'm going to keep working on it and we'll see how long it takes. 
the next product has been in for two months now, same as the foundation actually, and that is my Becca Under Eye uh, Primer. This is the Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Uh, this is what it looked like last month. Again, it's been in for two months. That was after one month of use in the project. Granted, that I had already hit pan on it before rolling it in, but that is what it looked like last month. I'm hoping that the pan has expanded a little bit, or I'm hopefully quite a bit. I think it might have, and this is what it is today. I have reached for it 15 times in the past month. Again, I don't reach for it every time I do my makeup because honestly I forget about it. But I have been getting into the routine of using it a bit more now, which is very good. It is a bit hard though getting this product, especially now when my nails are so long, because I can't really reach the product. Um, so I do leave my nails in it a bit, but I, you know, I'm, st I'm still able to get use it. But if you have this product, because I'm interested to see what happens much more expand the pan. If you have this product, if you finished up, or if you have it, do you know if you can melt this down into like the center in kind of a way of like repressing? Because I'm worried if I do that, that it might ruin the product and it won't set again. But if you had this, let me know if you try that and we'll see what, what would happen. Otherwise, I'm sure I can use like scrape some up with my nail and use it that way. But it's not as satisfying and like as like organically like expanding the pan, I guess. But that's why I am with my under eye primer from Becca. Making good headway on it, but I think it's going to be in for quite a few more months. The last two products I have uh, rolled in last month. And the first one is another primer, but this one is my face primer. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice Cinnamon Dew Drops, which I think technically is like a skincare step, but I use it as a primer. So again, this one has been in since uh, last update. And when I rolled it in, it was brand new. I hadn't reached for it at all. It was completely brand new. But today, I don't know if you were able to pick up on camera where it's sitting. Uh, it is like down to here. I think maybe you could pick it up. So I have definitely used quite a bit and granted it only goes down to like about here because the bottom doesn't have any product. I can see exactly what product is left in here. And I reach for this one 26 times. So it's very, very consistent use. I reach for this one every single morning when I do my makeup. And yeah, I really love this product a lot. Um, I do have a full size of this as well. So I'm very excited. That's kind of why I want to finish up this small one. But with this one, I definitely think this will be done next month. I don't have any hesitation on that at all. So fingers crossed, it, you know, I don't know, maybe 15 more uses, but this one will for sure be gone next month, so I can replace this. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one because I have found a product that I really love. And it's always fun panning something that you absolutely adore and you will kind of use anyway. Then the final product that I have to talk about before rolling in the new products. It's the last eyeshadow that I mentioned before. And that is this cream kind of shadow from Isadora. It's the product from one of their palettes. It was like an all matte palette that I had since ages ago. Probably one of my first eyeshadow palettes that I've Bought. But this is what it looked like last month. The quality of this one is real, still really good and it's very very creamy, very like finely milled. Um, and I have reached for this one 16 times and this is what it looks like today. I don't use these to set my eyeshadow, I use this mainly as a blending out shadow. But I do think the pan has expanded hopefully a little bit. I definitely will have this done in a couple months and it's not that hard to reach for. So 16 uses is quite good and I'm just going to take along with it. I use it more like a eraser kind of shadow. Uh, because again, I don't set my eyelid, but you know, for example today when I go for like a bold look, if I were to like blend up my crease color a bit too far, I use this kind of eyeshadow to just tone it down a little bit. So that is why I use this for, and you know, I'm not gonna force myself to use it if I don't need it. Like today I didn't need it, so I didn't use it, but it is still one that I reach for on like a somewhat regular basis. So I don't think it's gonna be any issues with this one around like 15 times every month. So those were all the products that I have been working on. So like I said, I did finish up my Too Faced uh, Glitter Glue and then I also did declutter my MAC eyeliner. So I have two products to bring in and the ones I'm bringing in are right here. So the first one is a comeback from last year and that is my Benefit Coralista Blush. I did try to finish this one last year, but I didn't quite get there. But I do have a massive pan in this product um, and I wanted to take a break from it because I was panning it for so long last year. And I also feel like this is more of a summery blush. And like I said, I have been noticing that that Dior blush is not perfect for every day. So I do want to bring in a more kind of warm tone blush. And that is why I'm bringing this one in. So this is what it looks like now. I will take a photo obviously as well. But that is my starting point with this blush. And again, my goal is to finish it. The second product is also from Benefit. And that is actually a highlighter. So this is the What's Up highlighter. It looks like this. It's a cream highlighter that again, I just want to finish. 
let me show you how much I have left in here because it's still quite a bit but that is how much highlighter I have left in this product this one is a good one for summer for me because I go for more cream products in summer and it's also a little bit too deep for me to use in the winter time and that's why I haven't rolled this one in earlier in the year but I want to get as much use out of this one as I can during the summer months use it obviously on my face but also maybe like on my shoulders and stuff in summer we'll see it's still cold here like it's not it's getting a little bit better but I mean it's still like jumper weather most days which is insane to me because we like mid May at this point um, but hopefully at some point it will warm up and I will get like you know wear dresses or like short sleeve stuff and I think this one will be perfect then because then I can like you know put this on like my collarbones and stuff and I think I can get more use out of that way because I do really want to finish this one up this summer because it's another product that is quite old in my collection so yeah that is the last product that I'm rolling in and with that, that is the end of my update. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also maybe talk about for next month. I think next month the only thing I can really finish is my uh, Glow Recipe Primer. So that is going to be my goal. And then just keep getting as many uses of the rest of the products as I can. Um, so that's what I'm kind of setting as my goal for next month. So that is it for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, I really, really hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.